Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So as some of you guys might know, my favourite branch of engineering is mechanical engineering. I love it when a whole bunch of mechanisms can marry together to create one piece of machinery. I think it is absolutely awesome and it's always worth knowing what some of these mechanisms are. So I'm starting a new series called Mechanisms of Engineering. And of course, the first thing that we're going to be talking about or the first thing we're going to be looking at is something called the anti-twist or the anti-twist. The mechanism. Hey, what is that? Microphone? So what actually is it? Well, it's a method of connecting a flexible link between two objects, one of which is rotated over the other in order to prevent it from being twisted. This has been referred to as the anti-twister mechanism and the connection could be electric cable or a flexible conduit. This mechanism is designed to be used as an alternative to the traditional method of supplying electric power with a rotating device. There are slip rings attached to one component of the machine and a set of fine metal brushes connected to the other. The brush shall remain in tension with the slip rings, providing an electrical path from one part to another while allowing it to rotate about each other. Nevertheless, there are problems with smaller devices because of this. Whereas larger devices, minor fluctuations produced through the brush mechanisms are really insignificant and this is not the case for smaller electronic components. The brushes produce and introduce intolerable levels of noise to the stream of power supplied. Therefore, a more efficient means of delivering energy is required. So, this device was actually designed and patented in 1971 by someone called Dale A. Adams. This was reported in the Amateur Science magazine in December 1975. I don't know, mate. So, is a device like this actually possible? Well, what makes this device possible is the weird connectivity of the Space 3D rotations. This was discovered by Paul Wager and Maurice Direct, and this was illustrated in his plate trick, also known as the Direct String Trick. There are several demonstrations of the idea that rotating something with strings attached to it by 360 degrees would not return to its original state. But the second rotation of 360 degrees, a total rotation of 720 degrees, will return to its original state. So let me show you a demonstration. So I've got my coffee coaster, I've made a mark on this side right here, so if I turn this 360 degrees, there you go, there is my mark and it's turned 360 degrees. If I turn it a further, 360 degrees, there we go, it's pointing in the direction of the camera, but notice what's just happened to my arm. It has returned to its original state. So the first 360 rotation, the second 360 degree rotation equals 720 degrees, and I'm back in my original state. So let me show you again, 360, 360, back in my original state, and I think that is just a really cool demonstration. Okay, I'll talk to you later. See you later, bye. So I thought that anti-twist mechanism was just awesome and of course there's all sorts of different applications and in industry that you can use this on. The first sort of things that pop into my mind is automotive, uh, green energy, loads of different industries. I'll let you decide what it could be used for because again I think this mechanism is just super cool and it was a really nice way to start this series. But I suppose with that being said that does bring me to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions or suggestions please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments and I will try try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you had the most fantastic day and I will see you later.